Because one of the challenges I'm seeing is that it's really easy to think that this idea of health span and lifespan is a really elitist experience that is really only for those who can only like really afford the most settings. Like a scenic health doing something different. What do you think the future looks like in terms of this longevity space? I, I think that's a great question. So I do think that the future hopefully will hold. And I think you know AI as an example is something that is right in front of my eyes in real time changing so many things. And so I think that that's gonna help to democratize a lot of this. But to your point, not long ago, and for the most part still presently, the vast majority of longevity medicine is happening in cash pay, high dollar, concierge VIP realms. Next Health was really founded to help take care of and service those populations, but also really the goal was to bring this to a larger population with low cost entry memberships. You know, for most people, like I live in Los Angeles where, you know, we're, we're offering these things to people, but some of them have an infrared sauna in their home or they have a hyperbaric oxygen chamber. That's not the case for most people, as you, as you probably know.